Are you ready? Yes. You all strapped in? Yes. What are we going to do at the convent? Uh... <laughs> you going to ride your bike? Yes. To, and, and as well, at the con convent, the toilets, they're ready. They're ready, the toilets, are they? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to say it, Ernest? Yeah. Go on then. Uh, welcome welcome back, back to another, another video. video. Exactly. Yeah, Daddy says that every day. So welcome back to another video, everyone. We're at the convent this morning. It's a bank holiday Monday, and today what we have planned is we're going to bury, without showing any of the addresses on these um, letters and envelopes here. The time capsule, so there's about 30 here in total. So thank you everyone who has sent one. So what we've got planned is, I've got this big Tupperware container, which is sort of airtight. And we're gonna put the letters inside of this with some of those moisture beads, so it doesn't get damp in the future. And then we're gonna dig a hole. I've got this concrete square that we're gonna put in the hole. And then we're gonna sort of wrap it with, um, well, I'm gonna put some concrete in the base and yeah, We'll put some sort of lid on it and then it should keep it, I don't know, from the, well, it's not moist in the ground anyway, but just sort of to prevent it from degrading any of the letters and things like that. So in the future, in possibly a hundred years, maybe even more, when someone buys the convent and uh, decides to undo all of the work that we're doing currently, they will discover it and they will probably read the letters and be quite surprised what happened in the past. So yeah. Should we crack on, Ernest? Yay! Let's crack on. So before we start, everyone, Ernest has been begging me to open one of these envelopes or letters. So I said, okay. Do you want to open that one, mate? Yeah. Go on then. What's inside? I want to get it. You're trying to get it? What's that? There. Okay. Okay. This is Tannis Simon. Hello, Tannis. Is that a guitar pick? And look. Yeah, there is. Okay. And that. So Tannis Simon is a musician. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Tannis. That is amazing. Lucky Blue. Yeah, and well, there's, they've got a pan in it. Look, the very first song is called Ernest, Charlie, and Annan. Ooh. Alan, sorry. So he's got your name in the very first song. Well, thank you, Tannis. Let's put the envelope back in yeah. so someone in the future can find it. Do you want to put it back in the envelope, Ernest? Yeah, for, for future I can find it. Yeah, someone in the future has got to find this. Yeah. So Ernest really wants to dig the very first piece. So go on, mate. That's it. Perfect. Look at that. You're good at digging holes. My turn, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we've dug the hole, we've put the concrete square in and we've just put some lime and sand yeah. in the base. We had to do it twice because Daddy didn't mix enough, silly Daddy. So as soon as that's dry, Ernest, we can put the container in. Yeah. You excited? Yeah. There's, there's a button for, 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 for doing the beep beep. Yeah. And that, that is for pressing to, to jump and and that one have to 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 you move forward. So this is Ernest's old electric car when he was little, and one night it spent the night in the rain. Yes. And ever since it hasn't worked. And Daddy has had a look at it, and all the electrics were fried. However, I'm thinking if we could rig up. Yeah, but look. A Ryobi battery, and. Um, maybe a new switch for the throttle, yeah. put the steering wheel back on, it might work, Ernest. What do you reckon? Yeah, but look. Yeah, I know, it's a bit dusty, but we can fix it. That comes here. Look, that wheel can work. That's that. There, that goes there. That powers them all. Too short, I think. You think? Don't run away! Don't run away, this car! No, we don't need to run away, do we? Ah! Don't run away! Oh. Let's close the door. Yeah, good idea. And backwards. Outside. <laughs> No. Did it crash? Yes. Daddy's wiring isn't very good, Ernest. Sorry about that, mate. But if we fix the switch in it, it means you can ride it again. Yay! Round two, Ernest. Are you ready? Yes. Go on then, put your foot down. Go on. Ooh. You're a happy boy, Ernest. Yeah. After all these years, we fixed it. Yeah, but we, we the, there's, there's that, 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 that disappeared. Yeah, well, there's no on and off button anymore, yeah. and there's no steering wheel. The steering wheel was at home. Yeah. It used to have a radio. Yeah, um, but the radio is here. Yeah. Oh, well, at least we've uh, sort of fixed it. Yeah. But but that's a little bit too big. Yeah, a bit big for this car. Yeah. Brilliant. Should we go and see if the uh, lime and concrete is set? Yes. Come on. There we go. So we've done it. The hole is dug, the concrete square is in, the lime, sand and cement is setting. So we've just put the container in there temporarily because the lid on it actually doesn't close properly. So I've got to buy another replacement tomorrow. Um, we fixed your car, you happy? <laughs> He's happy. Um, so yeah, tomorrow Sean is in and we're gonna start laying the half, the rest of the, flat, the granite flagstone, so. 
You're tired? Yeah. Okay, I think it's time to go home. So thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you all tomorrow.